Imagine asking this question to your favorite large language model. How many videos did Zumona publish on his YouTube channel? You will notice that it politely responds with, I do not have access to external websites, nor does it have access to real-time data. You see, this is the challenge with large language models. They cannot provide you information beyond the cutoff date. Now with AI agents, LLMs can have access to external resources via function calling, API calls, and with that same capability, they can have specialized skill set like a human being. And also, AI agents can collaborate for solving complex problems. Instead of having a single LLM prompting to solving a complex problem, we can leverage the agentic workflow to efficiently solve that specific problem, which can lead to higher quality outputs. In this video, you will learn how to build an agentic workflow to solve your business problem. Are you ready? Let's get started. You might be wondering why should we even care about AI agents? Let's say you want to write an article about a specific topic, um, imagine uh, emerging technologies in Africa. The first step to that will be to find relevant resources on the internet. And once you find those resources, then you'll start drafting your content. After the content is finally available, then with and online presence you might want to share with your followers on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and so on. And that workflow might require a lot of time. At a scale of one article, that might seem easier. Imagine you want to write the same process about different topics, then you'll need an additional manpower. Then what if I tell you that you can leverage AI agents to perform the same task at a lower cost? and very fast. Now let's consider the following workflow where the idea is to write a blog post about a specific topic of interest. And once the blog post is ready, also create a LinkedIn post and also a Twitter post. And the user is going to first submit the topic of interest and we'll have four agents working together to make that possible. The first agent is a video analyzer specialized in finding relevant videos. That first agent is going to use external tools like YouTube channel search tool, which is going to take the user's topic of interest, search on uh, YouTube and find the relevant topic that match the user's topic of interest. And it's going to then generate a transcription of that video to the next layer of agents. Then we have agent number two, which is an expert in creating a blog post. That agent is going to use that transcription to create a blog post based on the um, instructions provided by the system. And then we have the third agent, which is going to perform similar approach to agent number two. But this third agent is an expert in drafting LinkedIn posts. And that final agent, agent number four, is also an expert in its own field, which is Twitter. Then orchestrating these four agents will be able to create a better workflow to generating engaging and powerful content. Then this is the workflow that we are going to implement in this tutorial. Now let's dive into the actual implementation of our workflow. First, we start with the installation of the libraries. We have three main libraries. And for this tutorial, we are using the Crew framework. So we install um, Crew AI and also the tools so that we can use external tools um, made available by Crew framework. And the last two libraries, YouTube Transcript API and YouTube DLP are used to interact with YouTube. After installing the libraries, now we can import uh, agents from Crew, which is going to help us implement our agents. And user data is going to be used to access our credentials from um, Google Collab. Then we have um, Crew process, which is going to be used as well in the same 
um, process of using our agent and also run those agents together and we have a youtube channel search tool which tool is going to be used by the first agent to search information from youtube and task is going to be used to implement the task for each agent and now we start by setting our credentials and since our agents are leveraging large language models then we need to set up our api key the model that we're going to use and this is the full configuration of our environment and here is where we can find those details the model that is being used is gpt40 and here is the api key that is going to be used to access that specific model now once those are implemented we start by creating the tool that is going to be used by the first agent and that tool is going to access my youtube channel so i provide the handle of my channel here which is a tech with zoom now let's see what is in that tool and here we have a tool that can be used to semantic search a query the tech with zoom youtube channel content so this is basically going to be used by the ai agent to perform semantic search across my youtube channel to find the topic that meet the user's requirements and now we start by implementing our agents and as you can see here in the workflow we have four main agents agents one two three and four so let's start with the first agent you will see that if you are able to implement one agent then the implementation of the remaining agents will be um the same the, the same way first we tell the role of that agent each agent has a role then we tell this agent that you are a topic researcher that is your responsibility then we give it a goal what is your goal as a topic researcher so as a topic researcher your goal is to search for relevant video on the topic that is going to be provided here this is going to be basically the placeholder that will hold the user's request verbs we say true so that we can have details of processing and this agent is also going to have a memory then for that agent to efficiently perform its tasks we need to give it a backstory the goal of the backstory is to give context to that agent as backstory we tell that agent you are an expert in finding and analyzing relevant content from youtube channels specializing in ai data science machine learning and generative ai topics and our allow delegation is true the reason why we are setting this allow delegation true because the response of this agent needs to be delegated to others agent that is the reason why we set this one to true so that others agents can use its response for 3d processing now we have our linkedin post agent and here as you can see we have role um backstory goal and here the difference is that a low allegation it's false because the response of this linkedin post agent is not going to be used by other agents see this is the main difference between this linkedin post agent and the first topic researcher agent let's get back to linkedin post agent the role is linkedin post creator we tell this agent that you are a linkedin post creator then your goal is to create a concise linkedin post summary from the transcription provided by the topic researcher here you see the benefit of allowing this delegation to true because the response of this first agent is going to be used by the second agent now we move to twitter post agent the twitter agent is also also has a role a goal backstory or like delegation to false and finally we have our blog post writer which is also an agent with a role blog post writer a goal write a comprehensive blog post from the transcription provided 
by a topic researcher covering all necessary sections and backstory experience in creating in-depth, well-structured both blog posts that explain technical concepts clearly and engage readers from introduction to conclusion. Each one of these agents has to perform a specific task and to create a task we use the task class. And the implementation is task is defined by these these are variables. For a given task, we need to give a description. That description is going to provide the exact task that needs to be performed by a specific agent. We have the researcher task. Now we have description. Identify and analyze videos on the topic, which is the placeholder here, from the specified YouTube channel. Now, for each task, we have a specific output, the expected output. And here we um, tell the agent to create a complete word-by-word -word report of the most relevant videos found on that topic. Now, we have the blog writing task. This task is used by the blog writing. But before that, the first um, agent to perform that task is going to use a tool. That tool is YouTube tool that we have implemented above. And this is the responsibility of the topic researcher that we specify here with the agent attribute. Now we have a blog writing task. That blog writing task is um, has the following description. Write a comprehensive blog post based on the transcription provided by topic researcher. The article must include an introduction, step-by-step -step guide, and conclusion. The overall content must be um, 1,200 words long. And the expected output is a markdown formatted of that blog and this is the responsibility of the blog writer and the output file is going to be blog post dot md markdown the linkedin post task is performed by the linkedin post agent and its description is given here create a linkedin post summarizing the key points from the description provided by the topic researcher and creating relevant hashtags Expected output a markdown formatted of a LinkedIn post, and output format is LinkedIn post that markdown. Final task is implemented by the Twitter agent. That Twitter agent is going to perform this specific description. The expected output is also a markdown, and the final file is going to be tweet.md. Now we have implemented both the agents and their respective tasks. Now the next step is to orchestrate all these agents so that they can interact with each other. And this is done using the crew class. The crew class takes the agents. Now we have all the agents that need to work together. They have here the specific tasks that each agent has to perform. Now we have variables through, um, true here, which can be false. Memory is true those agents have memory cache the result will be cached and share crew this allows the interaction with those um, with those agents the final step is to execute on um, the crew's tasks now this is my topic of interest this is a topic that i want to um, write articles about um, make the linkedin post and also the tweets and from that topic of interest i can use my crew kickoff that kickoff function is going to trigger the execution of like all these agents which will then process my topic of interest now i can run this one and here we can see that the processing is ongoing this is entering the new crew agent executor chain this chain is going to process all the tasks from the agent number one to agent number four and they're all working together to um, process my request and deliver my result after all the tasks have been um, efficiently executed we can see let me check the output here we have the expected three files we have a blog markdown 
LinkedIn Markdown, and Tweets Markdown. Let's have a look at, at each file. Here we have the blog posts. The blog posts creating a personal assistant using GPT 3.5 Turbo Fine Tuning. That's the topic that I was talking in my video, in that tutorial. The recent release of GPT 3.5 model for fine tuning is open new possibilities so as you can see we have um as instructed the model with the introduction the model gives an introduction with step-by-step -step guide it gives the first step which install necessary packages step two load data step three format the data um step four upload the data to for fine tuning and here we have all the steps provided by the model and also the conclusion this might not be perfect but it gives you a perspective on how to um how like the possibilities with this type of model this is the blog post now let's have a look at the linkedin post here we have a linkedin post of fine-tuning gpt 3.5 turbo with graphical interface here it's giving a brief summary of what has been discussed in the video along with the hashtags and finally the twitter post which is here a short um, description from the video tutorial along with the hashtags this is the power of using ai agents as you can see this can be adapted to other you know, use cases in different domains also the code will be available in the comment section below Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.